Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. I have a confession to make. I am so out of rhythm. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, I'm being the man consulting, get everything together, and I am, but man, after 15 years of a routine, I'm a little off balanced, which is why I'm posting this later than usual. Usually, I'd get up, and right before I get ready, I'd get my coffee, and, and then I'd do my pocket dump deconstruction or knife of the day, and then shave and get out of here, go to work, come back, that kind of thing. Now, um, man, I didn't get to bed until four o'clock and in the morning and, and tossed and turned. So uh, I'll get it all together. I remember when I went consulting last time, it just takes time to create new routines. So I apologize. Um, so I hope you guys understand why these aren't as ready. I know I do the same thing with my YouTube stuff. I have YouTubers dropping stuff in the morning that I want to listen to and at night and all that. And and I've been kind of off. So forgive me for that. I'm trying to get my life straightened out. It just isn't as smooth as I thought it would be. All right. But let's talk about like yesterday I did my pocket dump deconstruction and then I forgot to post a picture on Instagram. So I'm posting the picture of this pocket dump on Instagram and I'm like, what happened to yesterday's? And I'm looking at all the pictures and I go, uh, never posted it. It's just been that kind of thing, not only online, but in life where I've been kind of missing because everything's not in order. But that's also the fun part of it. So forgive me for that. Um, but I do want to make sure to get you guys videos and I want to make sure that videos are part of my regular routine. Um, the coin for today is the Mexican, I call it the once, one ounce uh, silver coin. Carrying that for good luck. Yeah, and to make matters even worse, I, I choose the time that I'm off balance to change up, you know, just throw stuff on the desk and not be as neat as I used to be <laughs> and take it out of the pattern I used to have. I don't know why, but we'll, 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 we'll make it, we'll go through it, all right? Um, let's see. Uh, this is my... The watch today is the Concorde Impresario, which I love. Big, thick with the glass back. I love chronographs, as you guys know. Nice, heavy watches. I wear um, an Apple watch a lot, especially when I was working. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I don't wear it a lot. I will probably wear it, eh, not a lot, just when I have big meetings. Today... Vodka. Nice vodka. Uh, second day that I've been putting as I went out and about um, to lunch and stuff to take notes. Uh, I have another one of my Mont Blanc pins. You know, I'm not a huge... <laughs> you guys are used to me saying I'm not a huge stickler on anything, but I collect a lot of stuff. So, if there are pin nerds out there, you guys know a lot more than I do, but I really like this pin. It's a Mont Blanc Heritage Series. Um, it's the Noir, N-O-I-R, Spider Metamorphosis. And you see the spider right there on the clip with the web. I love that design. I love when it's in my pocket along with my little pocket notepad. I have a number of these little notepads that I keep in my dress shirt pocket. Even my casual shirts <laughs> they have pockets in them. But this is a real nice pen. Um, I have two of them. I have one 
as you can see is a fountain pen and I have another which is a ball a rolling a roller ball pen but this is the fountain I just you know when you're sitting and you're having lunch and you're thinking up ideas and you're jotting things down it's great to have just a nice writing instrument yes I do have an iPhone yes I could use I have an iPad I have iPads I can do all kinds of electronic things but frankly as I tell you guys I'm trying more and more to spend some time with real stuff <laughs> you know oh I spent a lot of time online hold on oh one of my favorite cigars Romeo and Julieta just a real special cigar expensive cigar when off balanced <laughs> a man who's used to being in control all of his life career and everything else and who is trying trying desperately have been trying since I started YouTube actually that's why I started YouTube to kind of let go of some of that um, and give up all that stress and stuff to be the best part of me in my later years ah, a good cigar just calms you down and uh, that's what this is all about hold on ah I love this cigar expensive but man, it's good. Let me move this knife over here before I mess around and cut myself. Sometimes you guys see me moving around and how I, I pause when I'm picking up something. I'm actually, re I actually reach around this small tabletop um, camera. Uh, look, I just blanked on stand. <laughs> tripod I have a little tabletop tripod that I reach around so the only way I'm looking is through my iPhone I made a commitment a long time ago I'm gonna change it um, as I try to do more things on this channel for you guys cuz I as I told you I have a big collection of cameras and just like my knives and coins and everything else I don't use them <laughs> as much as I should so I will start doing that, but I love a quick kind of setup without all of the editing and stuff. That's why I make so many mistakes, but I'd rather you guys have the content regularly uh, because I'll be fretting about stuff and never get it done. You guys have seen this. This is my coach pocket uh, notepad. One of my Mont Blanc skinny wallets. I don't know why I choose. Someone asked me why Mont Blanc. Um, I don't know why Sean Design Pen that I collected so many of them. Uh, when I was consulting, having a nice Mont Blanc, it was classy, but not too over the top. And I like that about it. And I bought all this Mont Blanc stuff. And then when I stopped consulting, you know, you just don't go to work with a bunch of Mont Blanc pens and stuff because people are talking about you behind your back anyway <laughs> you don't want to help them right so I have boxes of all this great stuff notepads blank journals that I haven't used over the years and uh, I need to start using them I need to start getting used to working for myself again uh, but it'll happen the good news is the finances are there knock wood and you guys are here and the knives are here. This is the roadie, the Spyderco roadie. I love my Spyderco roadies. I just do. There are five of them. Uh, they are slip joint knives. Spyderco designed this knife when the FAA after 9-11 was considering allowing small knives back on airplanes. They later changed their mind, but Spyderco had designed developed this slip joint and figured that it would be a great little pen knife here in the US but perfect for overseas because it's a slip joint it's a not a one hand opening knife and that makes it work in a lot of foreign countries uh, instead of a 
nail nick. They had they put these little divots, and uh, I just pinch and open like I do on most of my slip joints. And like all Spydeco slip joints, no matter how small, they have that forward choil. This is a 50-50 choil, but I love it because it protects you. You know, the blade will hit your finger. It also has a half stop right there. Last time I said, I don't know why. I get on a rant, I go, half stop at 90%. Someone said, I mean, I said at 40, did I say 45%? Like crazy, but obviously it's 90% going up you can feel that hesitation which says hey it's coming down i love the roadie um it has bowler n690 steel decent price three inches of course you take out that four choil the edge is 1.7 inches the entire blade is three inches 5.1 inches, the total length of the entire knife. Only one ounce. Comes in five different colors. Blue, gray, black, orange, red. Did I do it? Blue, gray, black, orange, and red. Yep. FRN smooth, FRN scales. Just hard to hurt. No clip. Throw it in your pocket. I put it on my keychain. It's just a real nice knife. It has a little jimping here. Whenever you see a forward choil that includes the stain, the steel, it always has jimping under there. I don't think I talk about that as much. Again, a slip joint, nice spring. I really like the roadie. And again, I love, I have all five of them. I love all the different colors. I'm not going to carry my Firefly. I've already been out. <laughs> I set this up and just, I was groggy because I got up, went to bed late, just couldn't sleep, got up late. Um, and then when I went out, I grabbed my Sabenza, which we'll talk about. So this is actually the knife that almost made the carry. I love this. Spydeco Firefly, just a real nice knife. You guys know I love these small knives. VG10 Steel. You know, obviously that's what they did to keep the price down on this. All the other materials are just great. I like VG10 Steel. You don't hear people on YouTube say that anymore, do you? <laughs> it cuts. Are there more exotic steels? You bet you. Are there better steels? You bet you. And you see them on this channel all the time. I just talked about the Bowler N690 steel and all the other steels that we come across. But VG10 is nice. This is a hollow ground drop point. Um, 2.7 inches. About 2.5 of that is edge. The total length, 6.2 inches. And uh, it only weighs 2.9 inches. I like orange. I like that dash of color. Um, and boy, I was thinking because it's 89 degrees here on the east coast of the U.S. today. By the way, I'm recording this on Thursday. June 20th, 2019, for all you folks who see this in the future. Most of you will. But that's a nice, super small carry. Keychain knife and just clip this on. Stainless steel liners, liner lock. And I do love that they have this custom clip. Small for this small size. Gets out of the way. It's only right hand, tip up or tip down. That's it. No left hand. And when I talked about the materials, carbon fiber, bolster, and smooth orange G10. I say it all the time. Spartacle does smooth G10 better than any 
knives that I've held. I know. I'm sure someone else does it better. But to me, they just make it so nice. It's so, it feels luxurious. It's G10, but I love the process and it looks great as well. And that transition feels like there is no transition from the carbon fiber to the G10. Just a nice little knife. Spyderco Firefly. But when I went, I really wanted to go fancy, and I did. This was going to be the knife that almost made the carry. And then, you know, when you're stuffing stuff in your pocket and you're running out, <laughs> you end up grabbing what you really grab, you know, at the last minute. <laughs> your mind, you really made the decision, but you didn't know it yet. So I grabbed this. This is by far my one of my fanciest. I see. I think my two <laughs> Todd Bag customs probably out fancy it, but oh, I love this knife. I do. I do. I do. I do. Um, it is a large Chris Reeve Sabenza so Twenty One, as you can see it. It has that great box elder burl inlay wood inlay on top of that polished titanium i can't wait to see a box elder burl in that new uh sabenza 31 because it's going to be a big chunk instead of two on the show side they're going to have a bigger chunk on the show side and then one strip on the back side of course as you can see the polished titanium and then the rough titanium on the clip and the lock bar. I think I'm the only one that thinks that's so cool. <laughs> I just, I think the fact that they make this naked titanium, the, 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 the look of it against the polish and all these exotic woods or, or carbon fiber just makes it look so good. It makes the polish looks more extravagant and it makes the working part of the lock and all of that just look great as well of course when I say high-end this has the ladder Damascus on it Devin Thomas ladder Damascus just a real nice knife this and my little roadie is the carry for the day I hadn't pulled out that firefly in a while it's one of my favorites so I pulled that out, and there you have it, the carry. Hey, I really appreciate all of you guys. I'm transitioning. Believe me when I tell you, I'm the happiest ever. But, you know, as you get older, you. <laughs> I was so used to being a consultant, and it took me a while to get used to having a team and being at work. And that was just going to take me after 15 years to get back to being used to setting my own schedule. I need to stop being lazy and set it. And it's summer, so I, I, have, to, I have to start working <laughs> and getting more clients. But it's so good to talk to you guys. Sorry this is so late. Hope you understand. But I'm going to keep posting. And yes, I do have more ideas and yes i will trim i'm getting a lot of questions about trimming um honestly guys i don't know what knives i'm going to trim until the day i start trimming i always <laughs> and so um we're going to get to that point uh i will tell you the week that i'm trimming i will tell you that i'm going to trim that saturday okay but right now we're not at that point but in two or three short months we're going to trim a lot of time so you'll get a chance um, to purchase at a good price some of my collection don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications because it is first come first serve and i only sell it to people on youtube you have a perfect day keep those pockets full hey 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 take good care of yourselves okay Again, keep those pockets full. Have a good one.